one of the one of the species that it, that's going to be extremely sad to see go, and it's going to go, uh, are our hemlocks. And uh, all y'all, many of you know what a hemlock tree looks like, and if you hike much, well, it's a, it's an evergreen that grows. Uh, well, it grows in a lot of places, but I was talking about here in southern Appalachia. And they pretty much uh, shield our streams and a lot of our forest floor from getting direct sunlight. Um, a lot of animals, such as salamanders and such, depend on the habitats that are created because of this shade. And uh, it's going to be really sad that it's gone. And there was a, we brought some nursery stock into this country back in the early 1900s. And uh, it had this adelgid on it that came in from Asia. And uh, unfortunately, it made its way, made its way south started up in the northeast, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, our hemlocks are slowly passing away. So when you're, next time you take a hike and you're up in the Smokies and you get a nice vista and you see all these gray skeletons, if you will, sticking up in the sky in some of the drainages, that's a cold hardwood forest there, a cove hardwood forest. And um, a lot of those are hemlocks that have already been affected by the del delgid. So I wrote this song, uh, I spent many nights camped out underneath the hemlocks and uh I wrote this kind of, if you will, put yourself in a, imagine being out, uh, just camped out on the ground, real pretty night, and uh, I have this dream, and there's a bird species called a black-throated green warbler that, that uses that habitat, and he comes and kind of chews me out a little bit uh, because of our stupidity. And this is called The Day the Last Hemlock Died. My bird sings a lonesome lullaby. Embers glow beneath a purple sky. Heavy eyes lead to Appalachian dreams of being comfortably lost beneath a hemlock tree. Black throated green, he warbled in my head. Said he was mourning the passing of his home so dear. He could barely sing through the tears in his eyes. Cause today the last him lock has died. Yesterday. The last him locked out. The angry skeleton stood tall, but in time they will fall to a forest floor in no shade no more. And evergreen had turned to gray, and he had dreaded the day that the last him locked out. And today, the last him locked out. Well, I asked him what caused this tragedy. Said it's a product of your negligence, apathy, and greed. You brought it over from a foreign land, and now the blood of the hemlocks are on the hands of man. And I woke from my dream. I wiped the sleep from my eyes and gazed up through the evergreens. And then I heard a 
familiar song It was that black throat of green And he was welcoming the dawn And the hemlocks stood tall But in time they will fall To a forest floor that no shade no more And evergreens will turn to gray And Lord, I dread the day That the last hemlock dies Lord, please forgive us When the last hemlock dies Thank you all very much.